second way to evaluate this integral problem from Lama University. First thing, push this into dx. Derivative of x squared is 2x dx. 2 and half cancel, you get x dx. So this x dx is half dx squared. So this is the same thing. Half out of the integral. And then uh, you need to push sine x squared dx squared. Push this into dx squared. You get derivative of cos is negative. Negative cancel, you get sine x squared dx squared. Basically, this is the same thing as sine x squared dx squared. Minus 1 out, multiply with half, you get negative half. Everything here is the same. Now, integral difference is difference of integral. Each one of these gets its own integral. Integral of this is cos x squared, 4 plus 1 over 4 plus 1. Here, 8 out. Cos x squared, 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1. Here, 10 out. And then, integral decancel, you get cos x squared. 4 plus 1 is 5 upstairs, 5 downstairs. Here. 2 plus 1 is 3 upstairs, 3 downstairs here and then everything is the same done oh uh sorry four plus five five okay three three and then how come i get uh become eight huh let me check guys this is a typo this is not eight this is two huh minus half is here because 5, 5 is here, 3, 3, and 8 is here, 10 is here, okay? Changes to 2, done. Thank you for watching. Hope video is informative and helpful. Before you go, make sure to subscribe, share, comment, and don't forget to hit or smash the like button. Jumpa lagi!